So if you stick modular signs around any old graph, you can get some quite interesting things happen. So this is an extension video just to kind of explore what you can do with modulus graphs. So if we've got y is equal to the modulus of x minus 3 times x plus 2, for example, now this ordinarily, if you ignore the modulus signs, is a parabola. It's going through 3 and minus 2 on the x-axis. So um, minus 2 and 3, like so. OK, and would be going through uh, minus 6 on the y-axis. So it would look like that. The moment you pop modulus signs around it, what happens is that the portion of the graph that's below the x-axis, because you can't have negative values anymore, it gets reflected up in the x-axis, much as the same way as we first met those other graphs, uh, the linear graphs. So really it should look like this. Okay, So instead it would be going through 6 on the y-axis, not minus 6. And this would be the shape of your graph. OK, so really it's um, drawing the original graph, thinking about what that looks like, and then reflecting whatever appears below the x-axis in the x-axis. So y is equal to e to the x minus 3 modded. OK, now um, this has a horizontal asymptote, y is equal to minus 3. Okay, so the graph would have looked, well, when x is 0, I get uh, 2, a uh, minus 2. So it would be a graph that looks something like this. So that would be at minus 2. Okay, so this part of the graph gets reflected in the x-axis. So we would have horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 3, and this part of the graph would reflect up and would just approach it. I kind of went over my line there. So that part can go. That would be at 2. OK, and that would be the shape of my graph. Y is equal to the mod of log x. So y equals mod of log x, look, well, y equals log x just looks like this. So that's at 1. So this part of the graph, which has a vertical asymptote at x is 0, gets reflected up. OK? And that would be the shape of my mod of log x. Now, y is equal to the modulus of mod x minus 5 minus 7. So if I sketch y is equal to mod of x minus 5 minus 7 first, so that would be vertex at 5 minus 7, so 5 minus 7, so somewhere down here. OK, and so it would look like when x is 0, we would have 5 take away 7, so 2 minus 2. So go something like this. OK, so that would be at minus 2. So um, this part of the graph that's below the x-axis would get reflected up. So at 5, 7, we'd be somewhere up here. OK, so that can go. That's 5, 7 now. That's at 2. OK. Now we could identify where it's crossing the x-axis. Um, so we could do that by putting x minus 5 modded minus 7 equal to 0. So add the 7 to both sides. So either x minus 5 was equal to 7 or x minus 5 was equal to uh, minus 7. So x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 and 12. OK, and that's the graph of number four. And so the last one, we've got y is equal to the modulus of sine x between 0 and 360. Well, we know that sine would ordinarily look like this. 
where that's 180, that's 360, that's 1, that's minus 1. So the part of the graph, this part, that's below the x-axis would get reflected up. And so the curve would actually look like that. And if you just continued it, it would just be bouncing along. And that would be y is equal to mod side x.